right everyone so now we're going to talk about the last table calculation function we have the difference the difference is very simple it's going to find the difference between two data points and there are many use cases for this function but the most famous one is to compare two things for example to compare period to period a very common one is to compare the sales or profit month by month or year over year in order to uncover seasonality or cyclical patterns so now let's go and understand how this function works All right, so now in order to understand how the calculation works, we're going to have the following examples where we have the sales over the months. In the calculations, let's say that we are currently at the month May. So the current value going to be this value. And for Tableau, in order to create that difference, it needs always two data points. The first one always going to be the current value. So in this example, it's going to be the current sales of my and the second data point. Here we have more freedom where we're going to select which value can be compared to the current value. And in Tableau, we have four different options. The first one, we can go and compare the current month with the previous month. So in this example, we can compare the my with April. So if you define it like this with the previous, Tableau gonna go and simply find the differences between the current and the previous. So Tableau gonna go and just subtract those two values. This is the first option. The second option that we have is to compare the current value with the next month. So in this example, we we're going to compare the month of May, the current one, with the month of June. So Tableau is going to go and simply find the differences between the current and the next month, and it's going to go and subtract the values. And now moving on to the third option, we can compare the current month with the first month, the first value that we have inside this table. So that means in this example, if we define for Tableau the first, that means Tableau is going to go and find the differences between the current sales, it's going to be the sales of May, with the first. So we have it as January. And then go and subtract the values so now moving on to the last one i think you already got it we're going to compare the current month the my with the last month the month of december so tableau going to go and find the differences between the current value of my with the last value inside the visualizations of december so it's going to go and subtract the two values so as you can see we have here four different options on which value we are comparing with the current so either the previous value the next value, the first value, or the last value. So that means in Tableau, we get like really great control which data points can be compared to each others. So now let's go back to Tableau in order to start practicing for this function. All right, everyone. So now we're going to go and create a view in order to compare the sales over the time, over the years. So we're going to go with the big data source. Let's go to the orders and get the order date to the columns to have the years. Then we would like to have the rows, the months and the quarter. So hold control and just duplicate it like twice. The first one going to be the quarter. So let's change the format to quarter. And the second one going to be for the month. So we're going to replace it as well to the month. Now I would like to make the tip a little bit bigger. So I'm just going to stretch it from the rows and as well from the columns. And now what is missing, of course, our measure. Let's go and get the sales and put it in the view. So now we have the sales aggregated by the months and spread it by the years. So now we have to create the differences between those years. In order to do that, we're going to go to our measure, right click on it. And this time we're going to go use this option to have more control on the calculation. So add table calculation. Let's do that. And now we have to configure a few stuff. First, we have to choose the calculation type. It's going to be the difference from. So as a default, this is correct. And as well, computing use which scope which direction we want so we want the direction from left to right we want to compare the years which is currently correct we don't want to compare the months together if you want to compare that we can switch it to table down so with that we are now comparing the months together but now we want to compare the years in order to do that so let's select the table across and then we have to specify for tableau relative to and here we have to define one of the four options that we learned before so we have the previous next first and last and now in this example we want to compare the current year with the previous year so we're gonna stay with the previous so that means for example let's pick this value over here it's gonna be the differences between the sales of 2022 january and the year before with the same month so it's gonna be the difference between this year and the year of 2021 January. And that's why for the whole year of 2018, we don't have any values because in this view, we don't have 2017. We don't have a previous year. It's going to be the first year. That's why it's completely empty. All right. So that we have created the table calculations, but as usual, we're going to go and change the view that we are currently presenting for the users. So what I would do now, I would reduce the number of years to only two years. So let's go and apply a filter. So show filters 
and I would pick the last two years. And now I would like to add to the view the total sales for each month. So in order to do that, let's go and grab the sales and drop it to the view. So now on the left side, we have the differences in sales and then we have the aggregate of sales. So now we can see very easily where those numbers come from. It is the differences between those two years. All right, so the next step, let's go and replace those numbers with visuals, with bars. So in order to do that, we're going to take our measures and put it on the columns. So this is the first and the second. And then let's change the visual instead of line to bar. So let's go to the marks over here and say we would like to have the bars. All right. So here, as you can see, all the measures having the same coloring. So instead of that, I would like to change the coloring of the differences. So let's go to the sum of sales over here. As you can see, we have the icon of table calculations. And then let's drag and drop the sum of sales, the table calculations to the color by holding control and let's change the colors of the first measure so let's switch the sum of sales the aggregations and go to the colors and let's pick any color from here like for example the blue so that's it those informations comes from the total sales from the aggregate calculations and this one comes from the table calculations and it's very simple to create and with that we can go and compare the years for the sales and now if you would like to analyze the differences between those two years, you can see in January, for example, there is no big difference between the year 2021 and 2022. There is like small growth. But if you go, for example, to February, you can see there are big differences between the two years. We have made a lot of sales in this month. And another thing to notice here is that in November, we made less sales than the year before. So as you can see, we can very quickly find the differences between those sales in 2022 and the sales of the year before. For. So this is the power of the difference function. It's going to help us to compare two things like the years or maybe the categories, month and so on. All right. So that's all for the difference function in Tableau. All right, everyone. So that's all. We have covered the four types of Tableau calculations. And with that, you have learned around 60 different functions in Tableau so that you have enough tools in order to create new fields in your data source and as well to manipulate your data. And with that, we have completed the section Tableau calculations. And now in the next section, things gonna get really interesting where we're gonna go and build around 63 tableau charts we're gonna start with the basic charts like bar charts and we're gonna progress to more complex charts in tableau and if you like my content and you want to support the channel then i really appreciate it if you support like and comment this is really gonna help the youtube algorithm thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video bye